And this is all about getting ready for the weekend. 138 days after the last puck drop. McKayev is with him in front, and he scores. And it only took seconds. With dozens of newly installed cameras capturing every shot, save, and goal. A week of exhibition games in Toronto and Edmonton before it all starts for real on Saturday. I mean, it's going to be a challenge for everybody. I think that, um, you know, it's there's going to be rust and you have to understand that. Nearly 800 players and dozens of team staff are getting acclimatized, stepping inside their fancy bubbles for the first time. Daily testing, wearing masks and credentials, swapping dressing rooms, all part of the new normal. The NHL sparing no expense, decked out hotel floors complete with each team's colors, each bubble with 14 restaurants. Player safety, the number one concern. You can't let your guard down. There's no room for complacency. If that happens, certainly infection can be introduced and, and transmitted within the bubble. So far, so good, says the doctor. No new positive cases reported Monday after thousands of tests over the last week of the league's phase three. What do you make of the fact that the NHL is back today? Although these are all positive signs, uh, they still have to adhere to these public health guidelines and these public health restrictions in the bubble to make sure that if anyone does turn positive uh, that they don't transmit it to other people. 24 teams are in contention, six of them are Canadian. And if everything goes according to plan, one team will hoist the cup in a journey that could run into October. Devin Haru, CBC News, Toronto.